of the day. And yes, I did sneeze before the recording, that's why we're re-recording this. But yes, one more Seth video for this week, and then, I don't know, we'll watch something. I can't think of things today. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Are you tired of breathing fresh air and enjoying the sunshine? The youth... No. Well, actually, I am tired no. of the sunshine. The heat's getting a little too much for me, and I feel like I'm burning at this 108 degrees. Can't relate. I have a bend beside me, so you can't really hear it. Oh, boy. And it's raining every day. And hate open spaces. I wish I had rain. Take a trip down to Underrail. Hey, much rain? like its predecessor. No, but we haven't had rain for a while, and it's been over 100 each and every day. Over 100 what? degrees. Yeah. Wait, not even Undertale. snow? Not even what? Not even snow? No, we usually never get snow. What? I didn't realize- I'm booting a snow. <laughs> I didn't realize that was that surprising. I mean, I'm- then why not? I like the all Take a trip down to Underrail. Off. Much oh, like its predecessor, it's Undertale, there. this game takes place underground, where humanity exists oh. in a desperate struggle to survive after the surface was nuked by the major mega corporations of the old world. Into it's always nukes that force us down underground. Nothing but radioactive ash. Meet the locals who are either unhinged, unstable, or just unsocial. Meet the friendly wildlife, which include. Oh dear God! That's limited crazy to refrigerator. Is that a sea serpent? What? Which no longer hold food. Instead, they hold giant crustaceans lying in wait. Okay, I thought for a minute they would just be attacked by a giant refrigerator, and I was gonna make a platy joke, but the crab is at least makes a lot more sense. Beetles, which now have a frontal cortex larger than most humans, which they use to cook you alive, and cave crawlers, which... Wonderful, I don't... I mean, I was fine with stag beetles, but now I don't like them. ...hide on the ceiling and inject your muscles with a paralyzing venom so they can drop down and suck out your insides like a fly. If that... Ew. Hello, common. It doesn't already sound like a great time. Why not hop on down to the city, one of the last few remaining bastions of human civilization? Okay. And that's not all. We boast one of the highest murder rates per capita in recorded history. God damn, they sound worse than Night City now. Three, you're guaranteed to be shot, mugged, or drugged within the first 24 hours or your money back. So don't wait up. Sign up now and get dominated like the pipe worker you are in the best dystopian hellscape on the market today. Dear God. So how would you feel about visiting their fable? I refuse. You refuse? Too bad you're going there. Yeah, I kick him down a hole. Now Fable has no choice. It's either this or play Blood Bowl. I also refuse that. Too bad. Your god demands it. Neffle demands it. Nuffle demands it. Who the hell cares about Neffle? Neffle. Fable is an underground cave fishing simulator with elements oh. of jet ski surfing. It came out at the end of 2015, and it's probably oh. the closest thing to a spiritual successor of Fallout 1 and 2. It's a turn-based yeah. RPG developed by the Serbians. And as oh. with anything that comes from former Yugoslavia, it's absolutely brutal, unforgiving, and brilliant. Hmm. Yeah, there is a lot of games that seem to, like from, for some reason, Eastern Bloc, that want to emulate the original two fallouts fallout one i actually played through it was horrible and i was barely surviving for most of it until i found power armor why is oh my god what the fuck everything on my computer for some reason is dying is it getting is it telling you to Tell you to get a replacement. No. Is this outdated? <laughs> I mean, it's always been a piece of crap. So, yeah. Uh, I'm on pause. Anyway. So, why cover it now? Because they had also recently got an expansion, Underrail Expedition. Oh, Stig cool. generously gave me a copy. So I thought, hey, how long could this possibly take? <clears throat> One week and 60 hours later. Yeah, I, um, not the main 
Yeah. Well, not the main story, just the expansion. This wow. Is huge. Let's begin. Story. You play as some schmuck with no real ties or background. However, you've been recently accepted as a citizen of Southgate Station. Okay. One of the more civilized places in this world. Now, it falls onto you to make sure your new home has a future. And that's it. No great calamity, no great disaster. We're already living in disaster, but... Okay, so... It's kind of like you are from the vault, but there's no great disaster that you have to worry about like in the first game. We're trying to make the best of it. Good luck. Or the out second there. game. You'll need it. Gameplay. Oh, Survival why? is your primary objective. Quest. What, do you, what do you mean? But why? If I want to play a Fallout inspired game, I need the world to be in absolute chaos. Why? I don't want to just survive. I want to either destroy the world or make it better. Preferably destroy it. Uh, well, we Don't know who our local anarchist is, the but yeah. missions get you paid, but they're always secondary to preserving your own skin. Before you start, okay. you need to make a character, pick an avatar, and then you need to make the difficult choice between oddity XP and classic XP. Experts oh. are divided on opinion, so I'll help you make your choice. With classic XP, you gain experience from committing murder, and okay. you're going to commit a lot of murder. With oddity XP, you don't. You gain experience from dumpster diving, finding old pieces of gum and looking at shopping risk that is weird seats objectively oddity xp is far more realistic since going through garbage cans and stealing copper wire is how most crackheads <laughs> level up in real life what the hell so i thought the oddity xp was gonna be like you get experience from everything and Regular would have just been just killing, but no. It's an experience, and after you experience it once, you'll never want to experience it ever again. Also, oh. don't touch the difficulty. Moving on, you've got skills, perks, and attributes. Oh These are all quite interesting, but I'm not going to explain them. You can't be good huh? at everything, and when logic and reason fails, the only answer you can give is Attack extreme. my children, rip him apart, is what that said. <laughs> violence this game oh doesn't Lord. fuck around and if your build sucks you're gonna have a bad time so i strongly recommend you take one of my builds or builds that i stole from the forum <laughs> doesn't matter which one they're all pretty good combat is a big chunk of the game everything is turn-based so you have to make your actions count since very okay. often you're outmatched outnumbered and outgunned but unlike your enemies you're capable of thinking for yourself and despite the odds you're very capable of dealing with almost every situation so come prepared and you'll live a long life guns melee weaponry traps grenades improvised tasers i saw that dear god oh. what do you saw it showed when he said <laughs> traps it showed off you know what kind of traps oh my god i need to see shit why <laughs> no worry no <laughs> You just sneezed like, like a while ago, and I'm sneezing you now. <laughs> what? Oh boy. Crossbows are just some of the tools available to you. If that sounds so, it has a long list of weapons you can. Oh my god. If you can oh. punch them, no. are just some of the tools available to you. If that sounds kind of gay, you can just punch them. Yeah, my everything. <laughs> so you can just. There's a long list of. There's a laundry list of weapons you are able Instead, to use in this. Not only that, but your character also has the potential to harness their psionic energy. What? What's that, you ask? Oh. It's actually a very recent mutation, which lets humans and other wildlife use magic. And so it's basically psychic powers that masquerades as... It's basically magic, but not magic that people put in sci-fi stuff. And it lets you cook people alive, fry their brains, or strangle them with their own shadows. It's basically Why? mutant I powers. No, because Underrail takes place in the Harry Potter universe. What? But instead of wands, you've got implants you inject into your brain, so you can abuse muggles with your mind magic. Thanks, J.K. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny that Chrono isn't here because. For those that don't know, he actually is a fan of the was a fan of the series, but yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, Rowley. Of course, we can't talk combat without talking about crafting. In most games, crafting is entirely okay. optional. In Underrail, crafting is the difference between life and death. For example, a machine gun, as you may know, is very painful. A single burst yeah. of point blank might even zone you out. So what do we do? We make a tactical vest and okay. shove inside some Kevlar plates. Good work. Makes now, sense. we don't actually die immediately. So the enemy throws a grenade instead and shreds your internal organs. You're dead. Your money is now... There's deep. actually four top-down Fallout games before 3D. Yeah, there's Fallout Tactics, which I actually own, and then Fallout the Brotherhood of Steel, which no one talks about. We, we, we don't talk we about don't that. We don't talk about that. No, no. Being used on the streets to buy both no, types no. of crack. Crack rock. The enemy throws a grenade instead and shreds your internal organs. God You're damn. dead. Your money is now being used on the streets to buy both types of crack. <laughs> crack rocks and crack whores. How do we prevent <laughs> this? By getting a shield. Not the Roman kind. The energy kind. The oh. Kind which has different frequency bands and involves a lot of money. The impact velocity of a grenade extremely high so we build a high frequency shield bullets don't leave a scratch holy Grenades, hell a mild breeze but a sledgehammer uh, yeah that, that's still bad for your spy also your God shield damn. isn't gonna stop shit so you die anyway and your body participates in the free market reload that one is uncanny again. you get the yeah. gist of it under rails combat is a massive game of rock paper shotgun which coincidentally gave this game a very bad review <laughs> because they're not very good at their job if no they're not they uh, rock paper shotgun is another one of those jur uh, gaming journals that we don't talk about because they are not good at their job and do not actually care about the games they review unless they are paid by the de by the devs so yeah just another one in a sea of them we go a little further here's a little taste of what you can do traps are incredibly lethal God damn it, so you my did it current character frequently breaks the geneva convention by making improvised chemical bombs that digest and melt people's skin off holy Since hell he's good at chemistry he can spike grenades with rdx which can depopulate entire rooms oh or no anything that doesn't die instantly we torch the room instead with magnesium magnesium oh. burns hotter than petrol fills the oh room my with God. charred bodies and as an added bonus even burns underwater the crafting system is so holy hell it even inspired me to start crafting in real life now while this sounds like the beginning of a manifesto it's actually incredibly fun the amount of creativity and they just burn down a bank through very entertaining aside from combat there's no such thing as quest markers just directions so you'll have to learn and navigate the underground yourself that's no easy task and it's very easy to get lost god which damn is why stig made a world map to help you orient yourself it's very handy as strange as it I'm sounds sneeze. there's actually zero reason for you to explore the places you have really to be, the places you want to be are easy to find any place off a beaten path is a place you don't want to be you oh because probably giant monsters or something example. there's nothing there at least nothing good just a lot of pain a lot of venom and a lot of antidotes you have to burn through for absolutely no reward the caves oh, wow. are just that caves what did you expect in summary the caves suck don't go there also they remind me a lot of my own apartment the ceiling recently fell off uh, because of flooding uh, did they repair it no they just stuffed it with cotton and everybody pretends we don't have a problem but well, uh, god damn at night uh, we can hear it i can hear it scraping about and gnawing on the pipes we've got a hobbit living in the crawl space <laughs> I don't know why that got me. <laughs> you have a hobbit living in the crawl space. What do you do, Fable? I don't know. I, I feel like we need to get them away from here. Why? What do you got against hobbits? Nothing, but I don't want no one living in the crawl space. It's bad. I live in an older house. I could get sick. It's not fun. <laughs> Make us a full big. <laughs> No, that could so, also be claustrophobic. Yeah, we so need to say. Are you claustrophobic? 
So that's where Platy is, where he's I... not in his dumpster. Yeah, apparently he's crawling in my walls. It's hungry. This isn't a cry for help. Uh. I just wanted to explain my life situation. Anyways, oh. I just leave it some chicken bones or whatever. Usually, he's pretty happy with that. There's oh not God. too many quests in this game, but most of them are quite long and usually have multiple ways to solve them. For example, Ooh. there's one quest where you have to investigate the serial murders taking place in town. After counting the possibilities, there's five different ways to solve it. In one of them, okay. you can discover the bodies, download the serial killer's documents as proof of their guilt, and turn them into the authorities. Okay. The other four involve you being a dumbass and getting drugged by the serial killer. They strip oh. you of your belongings, push you down a shaft, naked and defenseless, <coughs> into their murder bunker. If you're too slow, they'll walk down and cut you to pieces. If you okay. aren't, you can grab a flashbang, stun them, and crawl into the <gasps> ventilation system. Once inside, Smart. you can either lockpick the safe on their weapons locker and Ooh. gun them down, put together a weapon to defend yourself, pull apart the fuse box and electrocute them, or hack the bunker's defense systems to gun them down remotely. And that's just a small, optional side cool. quest. Another quest line has you following the visions of some <laughs> stoner at the bar. Help him out, and you'll find out he's not just some random stoner. He's actually an incredibly powerful being that can walk through holes in reality. And uh... he uses this incredible power to steal hallucinogenic mushrooms from the general public. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Sometimes, though, his visions aren't exactly accurate, and he oh. does tend to screw up. This includes forgetting about the mutants he locked in his kitchen before oh he got God. high, forgetting about the cats he overcharged in his basement, and forgetting about rift walking. Overcharged his cats? What does that mean? Health and safety. When he teleports you both inside some Slavic military base in the oh. middle of nowhere, oh my he's God. a great guy. Or should I say, a cool dude. This game's got amazing quest design, and if you want... So it's a god like uh, SPC just with shrooms, pretty much. More evidence of that, there's another quest which asks you to track down and kill some gigantic savage living among the rat hounds, the okay. self proclaimed king of the rat hounds. Once there, if you're charismatic enough, he might offer you an alternative. You see, the king of the rat hounds has no queen, so you can go oh. off and kidnap some guy's wife. Why? <laughs> I don't know. That's not important. What's important is that you can provide some crazy caveman breeding material and root in some woman's life just to see what happens what the hell <laughs> i mean i guess if you want to be like that you can what the hell his wife why i don't know that's not important what's important is that you can provide some crazy caveman breeding material and ruin some woman's life just to see what happens. Dialogue is also very well written okay. and doesn't drag on. The music and the atmosphere are absolutely perfect. Wherever you are, you feel it. Wherever you are, you're immersed. It's like I'm actually inside. I mean, the sprite work is pretty good. Where everyone is either high off their balls from barrel soup or watching live action blood sports on a TV. Underrail is not a game you play once. I'm not biased. I'm just trying to justify my 200 hour play time. Ex I I mean, expansion. I can understand so, that. about the expansion? The expansion itself is new content. I, want, you can I wonder how many hours I've now put into Dawn of War at this point for Dark Crusade, just trying to see what the other factions are like. Anyway, moving forward. You, mid -game, you, once you get exactly two hours. Maybe. City. You get hired as a mercenary contractor no. to defend and assist an expedition into a region no one dares enter, the oh. Black Sea. What's out there? Death, ruins, pirates. And even oh. worse, for some reason, your arrival oh is God. really pissed off. <laughs> yeah. Off the Icelandic natives. And oh. let me tell you, there's a lot of them. There's so many of them that it's only a matter of time before they overrun you. No pressure. This expedition was doomed from the start. You also get some sick jet skis and jet ski combat, where you pull oh. surfer dude bro pirates off their skis <laughs> and watch them drown in the abyss. In Underrail, nobody knows how to swim. And there's uh -oh. a lot of designs. You can buy anything from the Boomer Core Blazer, the shark with built-in torpedo systems, to the miniature naval tank. What the hell? Which is quite self-explanatory <laughs> and very much lives up to its name. Jet ski surfing is the main way to get around an expedition, and there's oh. some memorable locations, old facilities filled with. I guess this is part of the expansion, but it does sound an intro. It does 
seem interesting, especially with some of the like, crazier stuff in this game. But yeah, their expedition was probably a story beat where it's supposed to be doing from the start. Abominations and oh, tribal burial grounds body where you can spend half an hour pulling bodies out of swamp juice. The expansion dialogue is also amazing. You can spend half an hour deciphering native language and debating huh. philosophy with the elderly. In general, this expansion is amazing. But I never mentioned why are you here? What exactly are you looking for? And more importantly, why won't anyone tell you? Those are answers you can only find for yourself. Huh. And once you find what you're looking for, you should ask yourself a question. Should I bring it back? Or was it buried for a reason? Criticism. Oh Originally, I had some bad things to say as well. But you know what? I don't care anymore because the expansion broke me. So if my voice oh. betrays any hint of emotion, that's because I don't handle existentialism very well. And when a man starts to question everything, you might not like the answers you find. Final score. I came for a post-apocalypse CRPG. Instead, I got an exploration of a human condition, of you, me, and this entire species, what drives us, and more importantly, where our species is heading if we're not careful. Mm. Also, doubt. Philosophy. It's what? A great game. It's a Wait, he got a conversation with an old man about Taoist philosophy of all things. Well then. I don't even know what to say about that, but... ...difficult game, and it's not for everyone. But if you've got the time and patience, it's a very transcendental experience. That is... Unfortunately, nowadays, I don't got the time for a game like this. ...if you can look past the bad and forgive Maybe the one tedious, day. ...I give it a completely arbitrary score. Do, you do, can grab do. a copy of a game and <laughs> oh, expansion... I just saw the freaking... He put, like, five dude, 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 and then it said Darude Sandstorm underneath. <laughs> on Steam or GOG. And if Stig actually followed my advice, it's probably on sale already. As oh. always, more content to come, so stay tuned. Mm. I might disappear for a little while, since I forgot what outside looks like. I heard it's uh, quite bright out there. A warm thanks to the many members of a Merchant's Guild, generously funding and bankrolling these videos, despite their lack of any mm. kind of real value. You're all Truly I mean, Have videos good... are the value others and you put on them. Like, my comic video, I know not a lot of people watched it, but I still am very proud of all the work that went into it. The editor, the voice actors. <sighs> the only problem I have with it was my voice acting in it. Also, this music is pretty nice. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else at the very end. There's not. We are our own worst critics. That is very true. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check out Fable Stuff, who's in the description. He's losing his mind over there on Dark Souls by doing a level one run. Only level one. Yeah. Common was there for the 14th fight. It was painful. I wasn't there, but I'll eventually go back and watch it when he posted it on YouTube. Anyway, thank you all so much, yeah. and I'll see you guys later.